In this video, I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails like Colin Michael. But this time, instead of using CapCut, I'm going to use the InShot video editor. To make thumbnails in InShot, you're going to have to use masking. So you need to use a video project. Tap on video and tap on new. Let's start with adding a blank video clip. Next, tap on canvas. By default, ratio is selected. Tap on 16 by 9 because this is a YouTube thumbnail. Then tap where it says background. You can use a solid color background, but if you swipe up to scroll down, notice that InShot lets you use gradient backgrounds. Just tap a background to select it. Notice there's a white dot with arrows on top of the selected background. If you tap on it, it will move the gradient. Tap on the check mark to go back to the main timeline. Tap on picture in picture. Tap on photo and add your image. Resize the image. Long press and hold and move it to the right side of the thumbnail. Swipe over and tap on cutout. The background is automatically removed. I need a copy of the InShot app logo. You can download it from Google I created a shortcut that allows me to download app icons right from the App Store. I'll leave it linked in the description below so that you can have access to it. You're presented with a list of all the apps that match your search term. Select InShot, and as you can see, it saved a copy of the icon into my photos album. Now I can go back into InShot, tap on the picture in picture layer, tap on photo, and it will be right up at the top. Resize and reposition the logo. Tap on picture in picture one more time. If you get that message, you can ignore it since we're essentially building a photo and not a video. Tap on video this time, and we'll use the black and white squares. Once you've added the layer, you'll need to swipe over and tap on masks. This will do. Tap on the check mark. Now tap on picture and picture once more. And this time, we're going to add the white square and apply the same mask to it. Tap on mask. Choose the first option, and then tap on the check mark so that you can move the shape. Make sure that the shapes line up like this. I'll tap on text, and I'll type. I'll change the color to white so that it's easy to see. Then I'll move it over. If you want to change the font, just tap where it says AA. Bubblegum is a font that I imported from Defont.com. If you'd like me to update my video on how to import fonts, let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to copy that layer. A copy of the text layer has been placed on top. 
Just slide it down. To edit the text layer, you'll need to tap on the little pencil icon. Change the color to black. Now tap the little keyboard. Save your text. The properties will be set the same. InShot shows one text layer at a time when it's being edited. We'll tap on the check mark and then select the topmost layer and shrink it down just a bit so that it fits. If I exported this, it would export out as a video. Take a screenshot by pressing your power button and your volume up button if you have an iPhone X series, or your power button and your home button if you have an older iPhone. Tap the screenshot editor to open it and adjust the crop handles so that just your thumbnail is visible. Then tap done and tap save to photos. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.